So, Seth, what's the college experience been like for you so far? Um, it's definitely been uh, different uh, from the standpoint of um, – just uh, adjusting to things and uh, getting comfortable and used to things, but um, I'm making it, and uh, you know things are going pretty good. Hardest part of the adjustment? Um, just learning everything and um, just to the speed of the game. I would probably have to say is the you know thing I'm adjusting to the most. Huggins' system. How difficult is that to learn? Um. I wouldn't say that it's difficult, but I would say that, like I said, it's just, just different. It's a lot different, mm -hmm. but I'm adjusting, and uh, it's going well. So if you could kind of, you know, as a first-year guy, kind of take me through your eyes here a little bit in the sense that, you know, you guys are eight games in the season. It's not like the season just started last week, but, but now comes that first big test, uh, you know, nationally ranked team, you know, top 20 team, and – you know, the night, you know, the day before the game, and what, what's going through your mind in, in a situation like this? Um, you know, just go out there and give it 110%. Um, leave it all out there on the floor, and uh, things will take care of this stuff. Take me through your recruitment a little bit. Uh, Northeast Ohio guy. Um, when did West Virginia start getting involved? What, what was your thought process through that? Um, started getting involved around sophomore year, and um, my thought process was just keep working. And um, you know, I uh, came here and I uh, had like an unofficial, and I just loved it from there. And um, I knew this is where I wanted to be, so I uh, ultimately just made that decision and said I'm gonna stick with it the rest of the three years. You you committed early. Were others involved trying to? sway you at that point and then who they were um bradley university penn state um ohio university of uh, valparaiso uc davis schools like that and um i love hugs and uh, i love the people here and i love the team that uh they had here and like what it stood for and what was it what it was about and i just said this is something i want to be a part of and it was a no-brainer for me you get your first taste of a large crowd in the pit game, student uh, looking for another one tomorrow night. What what do you know now that you didn't know from the first time? You I didn't know the floor shakes. <laughs> 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 I didn't know when you played the floor shakes. So, um, you know, uh, now that I know that, now I know how to handle that. <laughs> noise is loud. And right, floor shakes. right, right. Is that your... 15 ounces in the roster? Yes, sir. You were much lighter when you committed, I remember, right? No. Not much? No. Okay. It was, actually, it was actually the opposite. That hadn't changed that weight since I was a freshman in high school. Okay. So you've done some work on your body. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. The other way. Yeah. All right. What, what did you do and what type of, I don't know, talks did you have with yourself? Um, you got, got here, got with Sean Brown, got with the coaching staff, and, you know, they said, look, you got, uh, got to make changes. And uh, they gave me a game plan, and I just followed it. Um, cut a lot of things out that I was eating, um, and ultimately just made strides to be better for myself and be better for the team. Um, what was going, what you had going was working pretty good. You yeah. could be guard, you could do some right. things there too. You would think, oh, I'll do that in college, it'd be fine. Right. Is that not going to work? Um, I think it was more so just a thing of what felt better body-wise, because you know, you, you know, uh, with the weight that I had, it was um, it was a lot on like the knees and stuff like that. And I think that's ultimately what it was, just making sure that you know maybe I was a little bit lighter on my feet and uh, it wasn't so much pound on my joints. Playing the same, just maybe different mm -hmm. execution. So yep. what, what do you feel different? Um, I feel like I'm a lot faster laterally um, and getting up and down. I feel like you know that I can stay in front of guys a lot better than what I did when I first got here. Um, and I feel like on my shot, there's a lot more lift there. You had to give up food. What, what was the hardest thing to give up? Ooh. <laughs> I got to go with Chipotle. <laughs> and I got to save my mom's home cooking for, like, the first couple months. Because when I went home, I had to make sure that I was, you know, really, really strict on what I was eating. So I couldn't eat mom's food. And it, it hurt a little bit. Probably hurt her, too, right? Right. <laughs> yeah.
comedy. <laughs> So obviously you'd heard Hugs' reputation for a long time. Now playing under him, the, the reputation deserved as being as tough as he's noted to be, uh, and how yeah. you handled it. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely as noted as tough as it's noted to be. Um, and also too, like players always say, they go they love him like afterwards and after, like while you're doing it, it's probably not the funnest thing in the world. But after you get done, you love the man, and that's ultimately. What I know, like, I know that, like, when I'm done, I'm going to love him for what he did. And um, I'm going to be way better as a basketball player and as a man because of it. So, um, yeah, I'll just try to stay his course and listen to what he's got to say and listen to what all the coaches have to say. What does a player think when he gets sent to the treadmill? What goes through your mind? Not again. (laughs) Not again or, uh, you know, I got to make sure that this doesn't happen again because uh, that's real. Jay Vaughn said it best. You got to have a treadmill mentality. So that, that's real. That's real. How many times should I ask? How many times have you been there? Oh, man. <laughs> I got to say maybe 15 times. <laughs> recently, recently it's been a little light, knock on wood. <laughs> on the treadmill or on the court? I'd say it's pretty even. Because, <laughs> you know, pressing, that's a, that's a lot of mileage, too. So i say it's pretty even. So the, what I understand, when you were in high school, you, you were already bigger? Is, is that what you were kind of saying? Yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing, uh, but did you just you take to the weight room at a younger age? Or how did, um, how did you get to that point in high school? I would say it was a combination of things. Um, you know, being a high school kid, you get out of games and, First thing you want to do is go to McDonald's. First thing you want to do is go to Burger King. So doing that on top of lifting how I was lifting, um, I think that was a combination of it. But um, like I said, we got here, they fixed it, now we're good. Well, like you say, yeah, it looks good in high school. <laughs> right, right, right. How have you meshed with um, Kobe, You know, James Conkwu, Jamil King, the other freshmen? How, how's this class coming together? I think we're coming together really nicely. Um, like those are my guys. Like you know, uh, we're I think we're really close as a group, as the, the four of us. Um, and I think that you know, in the near in the future, you know, it's gonna be we're gonna be really really good. So what are you trying to do when you come into a game? Honestly, just try to make the right decision, make the right play that's going to lead towards a win because um, it's because, like, one play can possibly change momentum. It could be a moment that helps us out, and that's all I want to do. I just want to win. I don't care about what stats look like, what's, like, I just want to do what's going to get us closer to a win in that time that I'm in there. It seems like when he's kind of put you in games and spots, it seems like, at that particular time, the maybe the defensive energy kind of gets rat, ratcheted up a little bit more, or a little bit more pressure on the ball and stuff. Is that kind of how you've seen it, too, um, or is that a specific goal for you? Or? Um, honestly, it's one of those things where you know, hugs. You, you got to play defense. Right. So, um, in my mind, that's the first thing that comes to mind is make sure that your man doesn't score, and make sure that the team doesn't score. So, anything that I can do to help. Like amplify that or keep that going at a high level. That's what I'm gonna do. Defense is obviously gonna get you noticed with, with Coach Huggins. Definitely, definitely. You like the press? Did you do it a lot in high school? Yeah. Um, my first two years, pressing was we did it. We didn't do it. It was one of those things. But my last two years, we really just pressed, and um, so pressing is a lot of fun to me. Um, you know, especially when you do it the correct way, it's beautiful. So um, I could say I'm a fan of pressing. <laughs>